Good morning internet and welcome to day 23 of Once Upon a December. I just finished wrapping Violet's Christmas present. She knows what this is because she, we kind of bought each other the same present without actually even realizing it and then what basically happened is that when I wanted to buy this I usually message Jimmy to let him know to make sure she doesn't buy it and I've had to do this a couple times because usually I do that when I know I'm getting her something that she's mentioned that she wants at some point that she's planning to buy herself and I'm like no nah, I'm stealing that idea I'm gonna get it for you for whatever occasion so I messaged Jimmy and I told him that I was buying this for her and to make sure she doesn't buy it herself and he was like wow you guys are really bad at getting gifts for each other and then like five minutes later I got a message from Violet just telling me what the you're getting me that I've gotten you that and I'm like oh crap I mean I guess it's not a bad thing it's just hilarious when you think about it I still wanted to wrap it anyways even though she knows exactly what it is because I'm going over to her place on Christmas Day to have dinner Jimmy's making a huge dinner so I'll bring this with her and yeah so this is kind of pointless but I wanted to update you on the candle that I was burning this is that IKEA candle and I'm not sure if you can see how deep it goes it's really not that deep but obviously it's just burned straight in the middle and that is pretty much it it will not burn anymore I've lit this probably three times in an attempt to see if it will burn any further because I feel like it's only gone up to around here and it just will not burn so I'm considering this candle done even though look how much wax there still is this is very unsatisfying IKEA I am so annoyed and I will never ever buy another IKEA candle again if I ever buy another IKEA candle somebody please hit me over the head because seriously it is such a waste I'm so disappointed getting around to actually taking photos of some of my Tiffany charms because I bought two extra charms when I was in the US earlier this year I was aiming to buy more like four or five but places like Vegas and I think it was San Francisco just didn't have their particular charms in stock which was really really annoying and upsetting but because I'm going back to the US next year there's a chance I might be able to pick them up again so I wanted to show you guys this charm this is the one I got in Hong Kong and I've already started polishing it so it's a bit better but you can see maybe I'm not sure I don't think the camera's really showing how gritty it's gotten. You can see it near the handles, which is really annoying because all the other charms generally seem to be doing okay, but it's just this one. So I've got a polishing cloth and I'm going to try and fix it and hopefully get it to look picture perfect again so I can take the blog post photos for today. Welcome to my new home. <laughs> just kidding, we're at IKEA. <laughs> we're going to get the clothes hanger first. Oh man, it's a massive warehouse. This is the trolley's view of the world. I brought you with me. <laughs> to bring the, put the heavy things on the trolley. <laughs> Do I look like someone who could lift this? <laughs> Don't answer that. Actually, that's the color. No, it's the right colour, yeah. I think I think that'll kind of differ slightly. Just a little bit. Just a little bit. Like have a look at this one. Like it seems a tiny bit. It just seems a little bit. Not much no, though. It looks the same. Looks about the same. Because mm, you can't okay. tell on camera. We'll go with this one. Yeah. yeah. At least I'm in the right attire to lift heavy stuff. <laughs> at least you look good doing it. Exactly. Should have left the tie on. Cabinets are quiet. Got a little bit of furniture. Yeah. Now we're gonna go see if we can find the clothing system. I can just, I can look this one. <laughs> You're gonna take that one? Is this the one? Uh, yes, it actually looks like it. So we take one of those. I can trick you. Yes, woohoo! Officially the worst thing that probably was gonna happen on this holiday has happened. And I, for some reason, left my handbag in Ikea. I'm sitting in my car right now waiting for Tobias to go look for it. Fortunately he had found it. I stupidly left it in an aisle when we were lifting um, some of the boxes. Um, yeah, I left it on the side somewhere so I'm just so glad he's got it because I was just so worried because it's... Firstly it's your handbag. It has like your wallet and everything important. But the other thing is I carry designer brands so it was a Prada handbag on top of that so I just thought if anyone found it 
I just don't feel like they would probably return it or put it into Lost and Found. I felt like with branded stuff, they're probably just going to take it for themselves. So that really starts stressing me out. Oh, and here he is. He's back. Currently on the way home. And I look exceptionally bright right now because I've actually got a video light on because otherwise if I didn't have the video light on this would look really dark and you wouldn't be able to see me at all so I don't want to but there it is between my legs rather that sounds really than, bad that's not really bad but rather <laughs> too bright than too dark yeah that's true so we've bought everything we need I got a couple of extra hangers to store my clothes with and I probably won't assemble everything until maybe tomorrow or Christmas day um, just because I still need to do a bit more clearing out. So yeah, that's my day. Exciting. I think we're gonna end the vlog. So until then, I'll catch you guys tomorrow. Bye!